Hi, um, to, to be able to do the, the free uh, upload of, of the clone using the free plugin, uh, you have to come into the members area here. And uh, let me just go into the members dashboard so you can see exactly how to navigate here. So we're going to WordPress SEO Blueprint and click on View All. And when you come down, you can see and the bonus fully fully configured clone site uh, free upload. If you're looking for WP Twin, it's gone over to page two. Um, you can see this is page one of of, of two here, um, and you just click over here to get to page two. So um, if we just click on this one, and you can see in here um, fully configured clone base site. All you have to do is right click, save it as, and put it onto your desktop. Just put it on the desktop here and save it there okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going into FileZilla now if you if you know how to use um, FTP you're going to f you just put in your, your domain name FTP dot and you don't put a www or anything like that I just put in your domain name after the www so it's FTP dot uh, hypnosis London dot org in this case put your username put your password and click on quick connect now if you haven't used FileZilla this is a free software and um, you can get just go to FileZilla.com um, it's got two L's in Zilla and um, you can download it for free there and on the left hand side here is your computer is the desktop where I've got it here and um, there's my file which I need to unzip first and on the right hand side is the server you can see the public HTML etc so I've got this um, <coughs> clone inside the inside a folder, I'll just put it in a folder to keep it nice and tidy and I'll come over here and I'm going to extract here and that has created my folder there all I need to do is click on here and click on that folder again and I will right click upload the install.php and you can see it's uploading here and then I will upload this one as well that one's going to take a little bit of time because it's got um, all the plugins and stuff in it. So I'll pause the video and I'll come back. It should take about 10 minutes and that will be uploaded and I'll take it from there. Actually, what we can do in, in, in the meantime is we need to come over to your cPanel. So you need to log into your cPanel and we come down here and we're looking for MySQL database, which is here. We we'll just double click on that and we're going to create a MySQL database which is really really easy nothing too, um, nothing too technical so I need to create a new database and it's got in here um, by default um, the, the name of, of uh, my my username sorry yeah okay so I'm just going to call this one template and we can click on create database and just wait for that to load, it should take um, just a few seconds so that's been done, added to database and we can go back and I need to give it a new new username as well um, so I'm going to put in here users users would probably come up blank here um, that was just from a previous one that we had done before and you can give it a password and then just click on create user that's been done so we've got added user hypno um, to underscore users with the password and then I can go back here and then we need to add a user to database so we can see here we've got user and database is correct so we just need to add that and then we need to click on all privileges and make the changes and that's been done so we can now go back and we've just created the database um, with the user and we've assigned all the privileges right so now we can come back over to the FTP and um, you can see it's still uploading here it's been about six minutes so far so another maybe um, five or six minutes that should be finished and then we can um, go and finish this off, it's really really easy to do, ok? Ok so this has now been uploaded, it took about 10 minutes in total and we've now got these two files uh, within 
our uh, public HTML here. So if I come over now and come over to my web browser and I type in the domain name forward slash install dot php this is what comes up okay and I've sort of pre-filled this and I'll just go through exactly what I filled in here so all we need to add here is to put in the URL of the site uh, you don't need the www just put in the URL of the site without that and um, we can give a site title in here so I've got in here hypnosis London for example uh, the host is just keep it at localhost this will be there automatically if it's not there type in localhost and then we've got the, the name of the uh, database which is uh, for, for us it's going to be hypno2 underscore template exactly like it was when we created um, the, the database and the username exactly as we created and the password as we created it as well so you just put your own in there so I suggest you keep to using template for the name so it's very easy to remember put in user or users and um, whatever your password is and then we just need to test connection here and you can see validation successful we can close and come over here and install this will pop up you just click OK and this is what happens it took about four seconds I thought it was going to take longer and I paused but anyway it's all done and that's what it's looking like at the moment Okay, so all this has been um, completed and you've got some important final steps here to do. Uh, but before we go into that, let's just go and take a look at, at files there just to make sure. And if I just click on the public HTML here, you will see um, all the files and stuff in there. Uh, one of the things it's saying to do is to take this file here, install.php, and install data SQL. So we're going to take that and we're going to delete it and we're going to take this one and delete it okay then we can go back over to okay so we can back over here and we can see in here it says to resave the permalink so if I right click on that now I've already logged in and you can see here the permalinks everything here so all I'm going to do is just save the changes and what else we need to do uh, we can just take a look at the site this is the site now it's been installed and the only thing you need to do here is to go into the WP admin and the username and password will be in a text file um, within the zip folder okay and um, when you get the when you've logged in the best thing to do is to go and change uh, the password or, or, or add another user um, to make it more specific for yourself okay so that's how to install a clone it took about well, less than five minutes very very easy to do and you don't need the, you don't need the expensive um, uh, plugins or anything like that it's, it's free, everything was free and very very easy to do thanks